Today's Food for Thought comes from the ninth chapter of 2 Corinthians verses 10 and 11, which reads, Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food, supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness, while you are enriched in everything for all liberality, which causes thanksgiving through us to God. Whether you believe that God has given you little or you believe that God has given you much, Something that all of us must come to understand is that we truly are blessed by the Lord. In this passage of scripture, Paul, he had quoted the 119th Psalm and the ninth verse, in which the psalmist said that the Lord has dispersed abroad. He has given to the poor and his righteousness, that is his goodness, that endures forever. The Lord in his goodness, he supplies our every need along with all of our heart's desires. Now, do you know and understand why it is that the Lord blesses us so liberally? Many of us, we think that the Lord, we think that he blesses us because he desires simply to make us content. That is, we believe that he desires to simply satisfy our soul. Now, that is certainly true. God, he does supply our every need and he will give us our heart's desires so that we are content in our soul. However, there is another reason. The Lord, he also blesses us so that we can be a blessing to those that are around us. You see, we are actually in the wrong when we think that God only blesses us with his gifts just for ourselves. As true believers, the child of God should know better to think that the Lord has blessed them to be simply selfish and greedy with the blessing that he has given to them. So this Thanksgiving week, I have a word of encouragement for you, a word that I've actually shared with all of you all year long. Be a blessing, manifest good in the world, bear holy and righteous fruit, and manifest God's glory in the world with the blessings that he has so lovingly blessed you with. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about. And I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere. And if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.